congratulations for another fabulous year for Software AG in Asia. And also, of course, for your big promotion to become the regional president for Asia Pacific Japan for Software AG. Thanks, Jessica. I'm absolutely delighted to be entrusted by the Software AG board with these extended responsibilities. Um, I've been enjoying my writing with Software AG and um, running Asia with a very, very talented and exceptionally committed team. I uh, can't wait to ex uh, actually get to know my new colleagues as well. Wonderful. And you know, Software AG in Asia in particular, in 2018, uh, we grew over 30%. This is, of course, another phenomenal performance um, from you and your team. So can you share a little bit why such a, a great performance in the region in particular? What's happening in Asia as you see it? We're absolutely delighted by this performance, especially not because we see it as a once-off, but we're actually on continuous growth track record over the last two and a half years. Um, it's a combination of things, to be honest. I think we today have a portfolio that has been never been better in shape to support our clients throughout the digital transformation journey. This is number one. Number two, I believe, we have the best possible skill sets, teams and talents today available in the region that actually addresses the requirements of diversity and experience and again skill set um, that they are bringing to the table, making our clients successful in transforming their businesses. And number three, I think we have one trust over customers and partnerships that are supporting us in an unprecedented way uh, and trusting us with business opportunities that we grew and groomed together in order to make sure that from a long-term perspective, we create impactful projects that disrupt our clients' organization. So um, for people who are not familiar with Software AG, can you perhaps explain what role does Software AG play in the digital transformation journey of the customers in Asia? What is it that Software AG provides? Absolutely. Um, Software AG is first and foremost a German headquartered organization with over 50 years in the business as an independent software vendor. Um, we've been starting our journey in the mainframe space and have ourselves, to be honest, transformed uh, um, significantly over time. We today stand for best of breed technology in the space of hybrid integration, process automation, process transformation and T-transformation, as well as Internet of Things. With that, we have a unique portfolio of um, leading, industry-leading capabilities to offer to our clients that make it really easy to support actually their um, digital transformation projects and bring them to life successfully. Um, but not only that, I think Software AG not only stands for best of breed technology and uh, analyst rated um, you know, and ranked highest you know, in, the, in the world, but also it stands for reliability. We are very, very proud to count, especially here in Asia, um, you know, leading actually organizations as our trusted partners. Uh, to name a few in Singapore, Fullerton, for example, healthcare. Um, you know, in Korea, the Hyundai Group. We also work very, very closely in China with a state grid organization, maybe you know, the biggest energy utilities company in the world. In the world yes. um, really, really impressive clients that we are enjoying to collaborate in order to put our technology capabilities in context of their projects and their operations. And I think this is what Software AG really has proven significantly and consistently over time. Um, last but not least, I think Software AG stands for choice and um, the opportunity for clients uh, to adapt to their needs um, as they mature over time. I talked about hybrid integration before. It stands for basically also the opportunity to deploy our software in hybrid deployment models in the cloud, on-premise, or a combination of both, mm -hmm. as well as providing choice to um, run our software in any possible hardware. Fascinating. And what about what are your thoughts around risk? Because of course, with all these changes happening and also risk and compliance becoming more and more stringent now, what are your thoughts on software AG and tackling this with the customers? I think risk is a really interesting topic and definitely comes up in every conversation that we have with our clients around digital transformation. Um, 
Whilst there is great excitement about digital transformation, clearly it also imposes a different form of risk to operations that hasn't been experienced before. Mm -hmm. Let me explain a little bit more about okay. this. Um, digital transformation for our clients um, stands for, in many cases, opening up their systems and their business models to incorporate partnerships mm -hmm. in a large-scale environment. Mm -hmm. um, now, in order to facilitate this um, in, in exchanging data in, in a secure way, obviously um, the requirements and standards to be followed are very different and they're evolving very, very fast, embracing also technologies like big data and mobile and cloud, as we discussed. Um, so whilst there is true excitement and acceleration of digital transformation adoption, on the other hand side, the risk aspect is not to be underestimated. And here clients get really an extra level of comfort from Software AG, knowing that we support the biggest organizations around the world mm -hmm. in the financial services and insurance space space, manufacturing uh, logistics, government as well, right? Government, in fact, retail, um, energy utilities, um, and meeting their highest security standards to support their business in a smooth way. Wonderful. And also, as we enter the new year now, um, you've mentioned a number of technologies earlier, but um, as we enter the new year 2019, you know, analysts are coming out with the biggest trends happening in the marketplace. So since you interact with customers across Asia, what are your observations? What are the customers talking about? What is top of their mind? And um, where are their investments going in terms of, the, of, in terms of technology? Um, so maybe let me answer this question looking at what digital transformation tries to address mm -hmm. for clients. It's typically three things. Either they try to disrupt themselves with a new business model generation of new revenue streams in providing digital products and services, or they try to actually smoothen their operations, make it more efficient through automation. Number three, they try to react and manage risks much smarter and tighter. Mm. Um, and if you think about this, what it requires and what it means from an IT technology support standpoint, um, then it's easy to understand that number one, AI and machine learning being embedded in technology platforms moving forward to smarten operations is definitely at the forefront of all of our customer considerations. Number two, I think good old integration is mm -hmm. there to last. Um, I think though in an, uh, let's say, expanded way, a hybrid integration leveraging APIs and microservices-based applications are picking up very, very quickly in order to have scalable and very agile type of um, applications to be developed and to be provided to the business um, from IT. Number three, cloud enablement. Mm -hmm. um, as you are trying to move your operations costs uh, into you know, more of the innovation bucket, um, we're trying to actually help clients to smarten and, and more, um, putting their operations being more efficient through cloud enablement and, and enablement of um, consuming software as a service rather than running all of the operations and, and procuring the hardware by themselves. And last but not least, Internet of Things and yes. blockchain. Um, I think these elements in terms of the ability to connect uh, uh, on device level to mm -hmm. get access to data and merge the data with available backend information to then analyze and predict and action is something that is picking up very, very rapidly going beyond the PUC phase into actual production as we're speaking in order to drive efficiency, business model change and again managing risks. So Anne, um, when talking with customers here in Asia around their digital transformation initiatives, what are the challenges that they share with you? That's a great question, Jessica. I think I could summarize um, the key challenges under three points. Number one, being technology re related. Number two, um, the process side of things. Number two, people. Let me allude a little bit more on those different points. Technology is impacted by digital transformation as digital transformation, as alluded to earlier, is referring to business model changes. Now, business models are supported by IT capabilities that IT departments are providing to the business, right? Mm -hmm. um, now, they are a new type of set of uh, um, capabilities required that really make applications more agile, more scalable, and actually adaptable for future demands. This is one aspect of things. On the other hand side, there is an additional requirement of 
really the speed of adoption of change, which means that IT has to much faster deliver innovation to the business moving forward. I think the level of integration between business and IT uh, needs to be much tighter in many of our client organizations than today. And that obviously creates opportunity for more roles, but also impacts processes. Mm -hmm. Let me tense talk about processes as a second point, but not necessarily from an IT standpoint, but really from an aspect and a direction of the business model change. Uh, once a new product, a new digital service is launched, business models are changing as mentioned. And as such, you need to have new and different type of business processes supporting the execution of the business model, mm -hmm. spanning not uh, within the organization that you are you know, uh, operating in, but also in integrating those processes with other partnering organizations. Um, that requires a lot of work and making sure that you have the right uh, processes laid out in order to um, deliver the custom experience that you would like to target. Quite a complex thing to do uh, for, you know, for an organization, mm -hmm. especially for multinationals or a large type of enterprises that we are working with. The third challenge is about the people and it's probably one of the most um, challenging ones and probably one of the points that are closest to my heart. Digital transformation means that we change the way we are doing business and that means people are affected. Um, new roles need to be defined, existing responsibilities need to be extended or refined. Some roles fall away as we know through the technology of robotics and will be amended and expanded in other areas. Um, this means that we have to carefully manage expectations and taking along employees carefully throughout the journey. Uh, and I think in summary, we really requires a growth mindset. Um, I believe hence culture is really something that is probably the biggest challenge for our clients organization when it comes to successfully driving towards digital transformation adoption. Okay. So Anne, I mean, IoT or Internet of Things is such a huge buzzword currently. So. Are customers in Asia already embarking on IoT projects currently? What are your thoughts around that? Yes, indeed. I think Asia definitely also sees a great interest level when it comes to Internet of Things. And whilst I believe in the past organizations were looking at it on an exploration basis, I think they are much more now interested to go into PUC phases and actually putting IoT technology into production. Good for Software AG. We've been ready for this moment. We've been investing early on in Internet of Things technology. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been hence, you know, enjoying collaboration with IoT clients here in the region for a couple of years already and really uh, leveraging on experience that we are building throughout this journey together with our clients. Uh, the reason why I believe that there's going to be much more uptake on IoT technology is the um, um, uh, pace of maturity, increase of maturity that we're seeing when it comes to IoT technology availability out there, mm -hmm. which enables clients to much faster consume and, and explore the benefits of IoT technology um, for their benefit. Let me draw your attention to one specific example mm -hmm. um, that we just recently announced. I think the press announcement was around December last year. We uh, were happy to share with uh, the rest of the world that we've been winning over the trust of the Nordex Group in Germany. Um, a very interesting organization dedicated to generation of clean energy. Um, they actually operate wind turbine farms based mm -hmm. on sensor data and actually are a global manufacturer of wind turbines. Um, though they are German based and headquartered, their projects span across the globe okay. in supplying clean energy. Mm -hmm. um, Nordix has uh, decided to actually entrust Software AG when it comes to um, IoT. Very exciting project that enables Nordix moving forward to have centralized monitoring um, capabilities as well as remote management capabilities in real time for their wind turbines. Um, now what does Software AG contribute in that use case is mm -hmm. the following. Yeah. Cumulosity IoT is an open, independent and device agnostic platform that out of the box already supports over you know 300 plus industry protocols and pre-integrates already out of the box 150 plus actually devices. This um, enables Nordex and was one of the decision points in order to really support the software AG direction as they could really fast adopt technology without you know long-term big complicated projects. Interesting. Moreover, um, the interesting part of the technology behind is that it allows you to scale and actually um, 
you know, uh, explore the flexibility of a distributed architecture. So we span across uh, from on-premise, cloud, all the way to the edge deployment models. Um, but more to that, excitingly, we've been building over the years the Cumulosity OT platform out so that application development, leveraging mm -hmm. IoT technologies, are now available to our clients, leveraging on process management requirements, workflows, and integration through APIs and microservices. Fascinating. And customers can also start small, right? Absolutely. We offer free trials for our clients in looking after, you know, leveraging really the, um, you know, I would say the experimentation phase right. uh, for their own benefit and understanding what IoT can do specifically in their environment. That's excellent. So, Anne, um, 2019 definitely will be a very exciting year for you. You're now the president for Software AG Asia Pacific Japan. And, um, you know, with the growth momentum, what can customers, especially in Asia, expect from Software AG in 2019? I think Software AG's clients can look forward that they can really rely on the same level of quality, excellence and uh, you know superb commitment of everyone in the organization to excel when it comes to making sure that our clients have the best possible experience when we're interacting and when we're implementing our technology. Mm -hmm. I think with that confidence level we've been winning over customer hearts in the last couple of years and I'm very very confident that moving forward this is the path that we are taking also in 2019 and beyond for for our business. So let me take you to the global level of changes, Jessica, okay. because I think that's been quite exceptional for us in 2018 mm -hmm. as our um, CEO at that time, uh, after a long tenure, retired yes. and Sanjay Brahmawa taking on the seat of the CEO of Software AG. Sanjay has been taking uh, himself through really an impressive journey of 90 days touring the globe mm -hmm. in order to hear firsthand from Software AG employees and teams what Software AG stands for and um, what our core is and what our values are, listening to customers and partners alike in order to complement the picture of his impression outside in. Now the result of that is uh, a very encouraging one because we have very, very strong values and foundations developed over the many years, over 50 years in business now um, that we are proud of and that we would like to maintain. On top of that, we see an opportunity to refresh our strategy as we speak mm -hmm. to gear up for, uh, for growth and excel even further, you know, customer experience uh, and making customers even more successful with software AG technology-wise and yes. their teams. Very impressive. But anyway, thank you so much. Once again, congratulations and um, to greater success in 2019. Thanks very much, Jessica.